turn it out of close in the contest, Rob. <laughs> psychologically more than anything from the manner in which he would defeat it in that European Championship gold medal bout we commentated on Richie because he was dominated for the three three minute rounds by the man we just saw Alexander Kizniak and the man who took Rio Olympic bronze last summer was made a marginal figure in that contest but he's through here to the quarterfinals at the global tournament looking to add to the Olympic bronze that he won last summer that's how he arrived here at this stage with a 3-2 split decision victory over Max van der Pass after receiving a bye in the first preliminary round. The tournament number four seed, ranked number five in the world, and he's preparing to square off against Jorge Luis Vivas, a packed power puncher from Colombia. This contest between men from Colombia and Azerbaijan and straight away the more compact boxer wearing red has walked his way into his own punching territory of mid and short range and is working over the man from blue with both hooks to head and body. The man in blue is Cameron Chatsavali, 24 years of age, ranked number five in the world, the reigning European Championship silver medalist and the reigning Olympic bronze medalist. Shaxa Farley been in charge of them before, and Arnold was um, thought that he, he's quite a hefty power puncher, especially at mid-range, but he's up against the Colombian here, who's very, very similar, he's got quick hands and likes to box um, at mid and short range also, so this will be, um, I think, an explosive contest indeed, with those mid-range hooks, but both like to get in that position and whip those shots in there's that right hand over the top from the Colombian that wasn't too far away so this could be quite explosive clash of styles here but they're very similar styles that's looking for that hook which is just in danger of straying around to the rear of the rib cage which is of course an evil blow that's a lovely left jab from b -Bans. Again, the left jab in evidence, but he was counted by a left hook from Shaq Savani. I think that it was that uh, Shaq Savani has got to watch out for here. Or he's right hand over the top. I think Vivas has got a very good jab. He sets it up. There's that name was there, not too far away. But uh, he takes the attention away from that shot with that fast jab, fast jab, and then he whips this right hand over. So I think Shaq Savani has got to watch what he's doing here. Here it is, right on cue, arcing right hand, and it got between the high-held gloves of Shaq Savali, but he comes back with an uppercut after taking another right hand through the middle. Heavy shots being exchanged in this middleweight bout. There, the left glove did do a good job of defending and blocked the right hand that Vivas attempted. Yeah, he's a dangerous uh, opponent, this uh, Colombian Vivas. Many times before, decent boxer. He's making someone here who's got a similar style and uh, has got quick hands. When he commentated on that gold medal bout, he called his new frame, which he against Kuzniak, who was both stunned uh, to the extent, like, the extent he was dominated by the man who went on to claim European Championship gold. To the end, without
not being disrespectful as he gets to work with good success with straight punches both upstairs and downstairs. But in the end, he was almost entering survival mode. Absolutely exhausting that one, wasn't it? Good right hand got through a few moments ago, but the referee warned of Shaq Zavali for punching incorrectly. Terrific round of hard-hitting middleweight boxing here at the quarter-final stage. Lovely left jab. Right to come from Shaq Zavali here. Let's have a look at it. Yes, straight on the back there, wasn't it? To the chest and then onto the chin. So to the second round we go. The man in red who started targeting that right cross. He's got De Luis Vivas. He too was at the Olympic Games last summer, lost in the first preliminary round. But to give you an idea of this man's calibre, he's got a terrific record against Arlen Lopez, who's beaten twice this season in World Series boxing before losing to him in the Continental Championship gold medal bout to Goosey Galpa, but he's just been fed a swift left hook there, and there's the same shot once again. Shaq Zavali then dropping down with a whipping right to the body. Back comes Vivas with a terrific left hook right hand combination. What a second round. When we said it was going to be explosive, didn't we? And it's certainly live, living up to that. Vivas is looking for this right hand, but he gets caught with a couple of good left hooks from Shaq Zavali. So he's shown his variety, and he just hurt Vivas there with a body shot. Just did Shaq Zavali. Left hook to the body again, went in. Cracking punch. Minute gone, and these two men are both throwing bombs. Heavy hit in midway to fear. Lovely left jab from Vivas. Just disrupting the flow of Shaq Zavali. Shaq Zavali targeting the uppercut. Good left hand to the body again. The referee just reminding Shaq Zavali to keep it above the belt line. Right hand over the top's a good shot from the man in blue. And these two men standing in punching range and letting heavy artillery fly. Good left hook to the body once more from Shaq Zavali. Left hook over the top from Vivas. There's slightly better quality in the work of the man in blue. Shaq Zavali's finding this left hook to the chin and to the body. Quick hands there for Vivas. But I think he's got to get back behind his jab, Ronald. I think he's just losing the battle at mid and short range here. Shaq Zavali's doing the better work finding the quality punches on the inside. For me, Vivas has got to set it up again more at mid and long range behind that jab. There you go. Right on cue, left-right combination, the most fundamental basic combination in the sport and he executed it perfectly trying it again but walked onto a right uppercut that wasn't too far away Jack Zavali targeting that same shot Vivas now with a low held guard got his legs tangled up just presenting a different look to Shaq Zavali oh, good right hand from Vivas knocking Jack Zavali off balance yeah, that little break in play there, as you could say, just helped Shaq um, Vivas, didn't it? Because he just created a little bit of distance and he catches him with the right hand over the top. He's dangerous at distance, this fellow, with that, with that shot. Same result again, an intervention from the ref. On the resumption, Vivas says thank you very much, left, right. <laughs> Terrific round of... Heavy hitting from both men. My goodness, these two men have passed the chin chin. Tremendous stuff there. Shaq Zavali, early part of the round for me. He dominated. Got the great left hooks to the head and the body from the man in blue. I think he um, did very well indeed, didn't he, with that left hook there. Super shot. And catches Vivas clean. Towards the end of the round. There's that jab. Good jab from the man in red, Vivas. And he creates a space and distance, Ronald. This fella is very dangerous indeed. 
with his jab and that right hand over the top. That's the shot that he should be looking for. Well, both boxers were practically in centre ring when the bell sounded. and it's Vivas who got off first with a good left jab. A contest that is in the balance between two hard punching, accurate, pot shotting middleweights. Left, right, it's a wonderful combination from Vivas. Back on the jab once again. Good success to the body with the long straight right. Shaktavali was too far away with a left hook, got through with an uppercut. Winging away in his direction is Vivas. I think Shaktavali senses that he's got to get up closer to his opponent. That's why he's coming forward on that front foot. This is why Vivas, he's got to get the timing right with his right hand as his opponent's closing the gap down himself. That's why Vivas is very dangerous indeed. But if he allows Shaktavali in on the inside, and Shaktavali is very dangerous indeed, especially with his left hook. But he's got to be closer to land that shot. Vivas at distance, he's a nightmare and he's a danger. Approaching the midpoint of the third and final round. It was a terrific start to the round from Vivas. Counter right hand from Shaktabal, he wasn't too far away. Good burst of punches through the middle of Shaktabal, he's guard from Vivas. He tries to target a left uppercut, but he's caught by an arcing right around the corner. High guard being profited from Vivas, who has right hand success once again. It's this type of contest, Ronald, that can affect your, your, your next stage in the tournament. This is going to take a lot out of these boxers. Whoever wins, this is a tremendous contest. Fought at a terrific pace. Hard fought affair and big punches have been landed by both boxers. Becoming attritional now as they were leaning on just moments ago, but we're into the final minute and it could well prove to be a decisive minute in determining the outcome of this contest, if indeed it goes to points, because these two men are landing with some heavy punches. Left hook just whistled past the chin of Shaq Tavali from Vivas. Cuffing left hook upstairs was countered by a left hook to the body from Shaq Tavali. An increasing amounts of holding now, unsurprisingly, yeah. because they have given absolutely everything in what's been an explosive affair. I think, if anything, Shaq Savali is just feeling it a little bit here. Vivas, he might just sense that his keeps coming forward. So the tactics have changed slightly here. This Colombian now is starting to come forward, like, trying to land that big shot. Just may run out of time, though, Rob. Indeed. And we saw in the clinches for the previous day. Look at the open mouth of Shaq Savali, who was quick by a left hook. But on a 10-second clapper, he's trying to launch a rally. But it's Shaq Savali who disengages. But both men think they have done enough. And who will have their hands raised in that one? What a contest. Back and forth, all the way. Each man able to employ their own tactics successfully. Unbelievable, wasn't it, as he's coming forward here. Gets caught there with the shot, Shaksavali. Tremendous punching display by both boxers. It's very, very close indeed. This one could go either way. I think a definite split is on the cards, Rod. Absolutely incredible bout. Very close indeed. Let's see how the judges have it. And it's Shaq Savali. Cameron Shaq Savali, a split decision winner. Three points to two, one point for four of the judges. Absolute and the Fijian judge favoring the work of Vivas in every round, but a fair reflection of what we just witnessed. An incredibly tight affair, but it's Cameron Chaktavali, the Olympic bronze medalist, who goes through to the medal podium here at the World Championships. Jorge Vivas deserves immense credit on what was an absolute thriller in the 75 kilogram middleweight division. I think that's one of the contests of the tournament so far. I agree with the judges, it could have gone either way. It's a split 3-2, not going to argue with it. Tremendous work. If it had gone the other way 3-2, I don't think anyone would have even...